Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is about density. Will a can of Coke float? As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a can of Coke, a tank, water, and plenty of salt. So go ahead and make a prediction. Will the can of Coke, 16 ounces, 473 milliliters, be able to float? And if so, how many containers of salt will it take? All right, so uh, a while back I did an experiment with uh, Coke and Diet Coke on sink or float. And we found out that the Coke uh, sank because it had so much sugar in it that it uh, had more mass than the Diet, and so it sank to the bottom. So today we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna change, well we can't change the Coke, it's got the same amount of mass, but we're gonna change the density of the water so we can make the Coke rise. So go ahead and put that in. And you see it sinks. And then we're just taking our salt here and we're going to start putting it in. So we're going to go fast motion here on the first container of salt. And uh, as we're going to add more density to the water, uh, hopefully we're going to get this Coke up. It's 16 ounces, 473 milliliters. I'm going to go up with the second can of our container of salt and we're going to go to a close-up shot here so we can actually see if the can of Coke is going up. We try to get a little closer. And, and we're still in the second can, and you can see, there it goes, starting to float. So, uh, impressive. So where before, in the last experiment, I did a Coke, a sink or float, a Diet Coke, regular Coke. Uh, you can see I could push it down here, uh, but it's, with the water having so much salt in it, it still wants to continue to float. All right, so I was able to show that uh, we're able to float a can of Coke, which we couldn't in the last experiment. Uh, by making the water uh, more dense than the um, uh, than the coke, so now what we're going to do is do a little bit uh, different. We're going to go back to our bowling ball and see if we're able to float a bowling ball. So we got the bowling ball, and we're going to put it in there. Twelve and a half pound bowling ball, and you can see it still wants to sink with one and a half containers of salt in it. So the, we have to make a prediction now. Will the 12 and a half pound bowling ball that sank be able to float? And if so, how many uh, containers of salt will it need? So the bowling ball is sunk there. There's about two cans of salt. And so we're going to have to add some more. And hopefully we're going to be able to get it uh, all the way in. Actually about a can and a half. I'm on my second container of salt and going and grabbing the third one and getting ready to put that in to see how many it's going to take. So I'm going to go out of about five. We'll see if that's going to be enough for the bowling ball. We know the Coke can could go up, uh, which was actually bigger than normal Coke can. So it's 16 ounces instead of uh, 12 or 475 milliliters. Um, so I'm starting off with my third container of salt now, and uh, the bowling ball is still on the bottom, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to make it. I have about five containers of salt here, and I hope it's enough. <laughs> we keep adding. The, we're down. We've got two uh, gone so far. This ball is just 12 and a half pounds, so it's just heavy enough to sink. We only have 16 ounces on the, um, the can, so I highly doubt we're going to get the bowling ball to, to float, but we got extra cans, so we're going to keep trying. There it goes. <laughs> All right, so a little over three, uh, we're up starting to go down, so... Let me get this over here, closer to the front. So we're just a little over three, we're going on our fourth one, and we're able to take that 12 and a half pound bowling ball and float it with just over uh, uh, three and a half um, of the uh, salt here and to make it float. You can still kind of want to go down a little bit, uh, but there you have it. We have the bowling ball and the Diet Coke floating. Uh, you can go into the description and see my last uh, experiment I did a while back with the Coke and Diet Coke and how much sugar is in each Coke. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Up it goes.